issues that you may come across when developing your application is that there's a lack of tutorials around security for your Rails app. Now there are a lot of tutorials that cover different issues like cross-site scripting, or mass assignment, or SQL injections. However, one that's often overlooked is CAPTCHA. And CAPTCHA is just the ability to make sure that the user input is actually human input and not some random bot on the internet. So this could help protect your contact form from spamming your inbox and other things like that. So today we're gonna look at setting up a CAPTCHA on your application, but a good one. Not one that creates something like this where it's almost impossible to read, but we're gonna take a look at the gem called Invisible Captcha. To get started, let's add the Invisible Captcha gem to our gem file. Make sure you run the bundle command and restart your Rails application. So looking back at our previous application where we had our contact form, we're going to create the captcha on the same contact where we can allow only the human inputs to be delivered. Now the way the invisible captcha gem works is that it'll create a honeypot input field which it expects no return. However, a lot of bots are not smart enough and this will protect against most of the bots out there where it will pick up on that input field. It'll enter something in that it thinks it's expecting. However, in our case, we are going to flag it as a invalid response because nothing was supposed to be displayed there and by default invisible captcha will put in a invisible input. So to get started let's add this into our controller and we want to only select our same contact. So we're going to call this helper invisible captcha only on the send contact action and then we're going to create a private method so when it does detect the spam then we can run this private method. So let's just add the private action down here below. And it's something pretty simple. It's just going to redirect to our root path and we're going to alert spam detected. Next, we just have to add the invisible captcha to our contact form. So here we can just add in the FDI invisible captcha and this will create a foo or bar input under the contact attribute. Now, I don't like really having that foo or bar capture here or the input so I'm going to just pass in subtitle here and it'll under the contact attribute list it'll have one called subtitle so you can call this anything that you want you could call it name or email or something similar to kind of throw off the bots now keep in mind that this contact form is not actually posting to our database and therefore there's not anything interfacing with active record. We will have to handle those a little bit differently. So let's say we do have a active record where the user can sign up and we are putting our invisible capture there. So in this situation, we would create an attribute accessor called subtitle or name, whatever we want to call it. And then we would pass a validates on the name, invisible captcha true. And don't forget that if you are doing this in your controller, since you are on Rails 4 using strong params, you would also need to pass in that attribute as well so that it will be allowed. While there's not too many configuration options for invisible captcha, there are some. So if you create a initializer file under your config initializers, you can have a few different options. So the first one here, Let's have a look, the visual honeypots. If you want to show the actual input for the honeypot, which is in our case name that we've used in this application, then you can set this to true and it will show you the input field, whereas by default it is set to false. Now you also have a option for sentence for humans. So if you do set this to true, then this is a message that would be displayed as a helper text. The error message, you are a robot. And you can also add in extra honeypot fields that I'll pick from the list. Notice a plus is just adding it into the array here. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching.